Russian forces have launched a major assault on Ukraine, firing missiles on cities and military targets. The invasion by land, air and sea began after a pre-dawn TV address where Russian President Vladimir Putin demanded that Ukraine's military lay down its arms. Reports of casualties included Ukrainian civilians and soldiers, and Russian troops. Ukraine's leader said his country won't give up its freedom. Russia has embarked on a path of evil, but Ukraine is defending itself, President Volodymyr Zelensky tweeted. Ukraine has declared martial law and severed all diplomatic relations with Russia. It says weapons will be given to anyone who wants them. Thursday's invasion followed weeks of escalating tensions, as Russia massed troops along Ukraine's borders. The UK, EU and other Western allies have vowed to impose tough new sanctions to punish Moscow, but say they will not send in troops. A Ukrainian presidential advisor said that more than 40 soldiers had died and many more were wounded. Ukraine said it had killed 50 Russian troops and shot down six Russian aircraft, but this has not been verified. Moscow first struck Ukraine's military infrastructure and border guard units. Then Ukrainian forces said Russian military vehicles had crossed the border near Kharkiv in the north, Luhansk in the east, Russian annexed Crimea in the south and from Belarus too. Belarus's authoritarian leader Alexander Lukashenko said his country's military were not involved but could be if needed. Russian tanks were later seen on the outskirts of Kharkiv, a city of 1.4 million people. Russian forces also reportedly landed by sea at Ukraine's major port cities of Odessa on the Black Sea and Mariupol on the internal sea of Azov. Much of the fighting appears to be centered around the east. The Russian leader launched a special military operation by repeating a number of unfounded claims he has made this week, including alleging that Ukraine's democratically elected government had been responsible for eight years of genocide. He said the goal was demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine. Hours earlier Ukraine's president had asked how a people who lost 8 million of its citizens fighting Nazis could support Nazism. How could I be a Nazi? Said Mr. Zelensky, who is himself Jewish. Mr. Putin also warned that any outside power intervening on Ukraine's behalf would face an instant response. President Putin, in the name of humanity, bring your troops back to Russia, said UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. President Putin, stop your troops from attacking Ukraine. Give peace a chance. Too many people have already died. US President Joe Biden said the world would hold Russia accountable. He is expected to address Americans on Thursday about consequences Russia will face. France's President Emmanuel Macron said the attack would have deep, lasting consequences for our lives. In a televised address, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that the hideous and barbaric venture by Vladimir Putin must end in failure. Earlier this week Russia's president announced he was recognizing the independence of two self-proclaimed people's republics of Donetsk and Luhansk in eastern Ukraine. The breakaway regions were seized by Russian-backed rebels after Russia invaded Crimea in 2014. Mr. Putin launched that attack after mass street protests in Ukraine that ousted pro-Russian President Viktor Yanukovych. Since then more than 14,000 people have died in the east in a conflict between the rebels and Ukrainian forces. A shaky ceasefire had held but there has been a surge in violations in recent days. Mr. Putin said the military operation's objective was to defend the people in the breakaway areas. Kiev and its western allies have repeatedly rejected as absurd Mr. Putin's claims that Ukraine was being run by. Mr. Putin has repeatedly accused the US and its allies of ignoring Russia's demands to prevent Ukraine from joining the NATO military alliance and offer Moscow security guarantees.